In this small workshop, a short roll of the dice from Melbourne's Crown Casino is an unlikely hub of automotive design and construction. Melbourne racer and car constructor George Vidovic has been building his Python sports cars for around two decades. Last Saturday night, George and his small dedicated team celebrated a milestone as the company unveiled its latest car, number 99. I'm proud to uh, unveil our car for the first time, the Python. Uh, Jeff Nadelman's sports car, it's a six litre supercharged V8. So ladies and gentlemen, the Python. It's been a long path for George and his team, and he's the first to admit that it hasn't always been plain sailing. It's, it's been an uphill battle. It, it, it always has been, it always will be, as far as I'm concerned, unless there are some changes made. Um, I think we need, to, we need to tackle certain situations as far as government issues, but I don't want to get too heavily involved in that one. But yeah, it has been a struggle. We've been, been able to control that struggle by having different branches of the business controlling the funds and putting certain funds in different areas. So look, it's, it hasn't been easy, but we've, I've got a passion and I'm pretty stubborn, mate. And when I'm a dog with a bone, that's it, it's all over. I, I just sort of stick at something quite, and I just go for it. The closure of the local manufacturing industry has left many to question the future of automotive engineering in Australia. However, according to George, there's still lots of great opportunities for the country, if only our leaders can grasp them. I had the opportunity to go to SEMA. I also had the opportunity to speak to a young lady by the name of Linda Spencer, who's the director of... Uh, international affairs and also the liaisons with the US federal government regarding the aftermarket industry. Um, I, th I think the United States have got their act together as far as this industry is concerned, there's no doubt about it because the rest of the world turns to America when it comes to the hot rod fraternity, aftermarket sports cars, street machines, be what it may, they certainly do have a lot of power behind them and it, power comes in numbers. It's amazing to think that the aftermarket industry in the United States is worth $33 billion. I'm not talking million, mate. I'm talking $33 billion. So when you talk those sort of figures with the economy, I certainly think that the United States and the powers that be are logical thinkers and definitely aren't going to turn that away or try to stifle that sort of entrepreneurialism as far as the industry is concerned. Python number 100 is already under construction and George hopes that it will be the car that starts a whole new chapter for the company. Well, I've done a few trips to the United States and I'm excited to say that we've been doing a few, um, we've been doing a few conversations with a few companies over there. One particular company that I'll let out of the bag is Aries Pistons. I'm, I'm sure you're aware of Aries Pistons. And I've had the opportunity to meet and have a sit-down talk with Nick Aries Jr. himself and also Carmen Aries, his daughter. Uh, fantastic family, fantastic people, amazing people, uh, amazing um, history in motorsport, particularly drag racing where, where that's where their number one aim is and that's where piston, the Aries Pistons basically go to. We're, we're in negotiations. It hasn't been signed, sealed and delivered. But at this stage, what we're hoping to do is um, we've been talking to, to Nick and what we're going to do is Nick is going to supply one of his hemispherical engines to us. He's designed a hemispherical head that fits on a Windsor block, which is exciting to, to know. I mean, um, if people jump on our GV Facebook and our Python Facebook, they'll be able to see Nick and the letter Nick has forwarded to us and also a photo of his engine. But what we're going to do is we're going to build this car. We're going to put Nick's engine in it and then we're going to ship it over to the United States and it'll be Nick's, uh, uh, basically one of, um, it'll be displayed at the PRI show. So we're hoping to do the PRI show with the car in 2016. Yeah, 2000, no, sorry, 2015. So we'll be there with uh, this car with Nick's engine. We're hoping to do uh, Bonneville Salt Flats and also uh, we're hoping to do Irvine drag strip and a couple other drag strips there to showcase his engine and hopefully we can jump on that bandwagon and showcase our product, an Australian product, and basically try to sell ice to the Eskimo, so to speak, because it basically did come from the United States via the UK. George Vidovic and the Python will be in action this weekend at Island Magic in the Q one-hour sports car race.